going to start off with our uh, the paper 6 physics atp and this is uh, may june 2018 so let's start off with our first question and it states that a student is determining the density of water which he is provided with a plastic cup shown in figure 1.1 she draws around the base of the cup. Her drawing is shown in figure 1.2. From the figure 1.2, take and record the measurements to determine an accurate value for the diameter dB of the base of the cup. Okay, so for this, you have to draw the diameter and this is going to be like this. And you have to again, this is measurements. So you have to use your scale to measure the diameter and you know the same diameter is one which is the, uh, the line which is passing through the center so you have to take two readings so that you can get uh, true value okay so if you measure this thing so the answer will be around 4.8 centimeter so the unit is already written so no need to mention uh, the units okay now the next question is says the student places the cup upside down and draws around the rim of the cup okay she determines the diameter dt of the rim of the cup which is 7.2 calculate the average diameter of the cup using the equation d equals to uh, db plus dt over 2 okay so we have the value for db is 4.8 and for dt is 7.2 so you take the average and if you do this you'll get 6 and you'll write down 6 centimeter okay the unit is also already mentioned so need to mention the centimeter so we are good to go On the figure 1.3, measure the vertical height h of the cup. Okay, again, you have the this thing measurement, so you have to measure that thing with the help of a scale, and you will get the reading if you measure that thing. If you have the printout paper or a hard copy of that paper, so you will uh, measure that height, and this is going to be 7.8. Calculate the volume v of the cup using equation v equals to this. For this, you have to do Mm, v equals to 0 0.785 times d d which we have already calculated in our previous question that is going to be 6 and height is 7.8 so if you do the calculation so you will be getting 220 centimeter cubes so this is you'll be going to be your volume the student fills the cup with water. The mass of the cup with the water is shown in figure 1.4. And this is your mass, okay. And determine the density of the water using mass over volume and the values from B2. Okay, so volume is this and mass is this, which I have already marked. So density equals to mass over volume. Mass is 232 grams divided by volume as uh, 220 centimeter cube so if you do the calculation so you will end up with 105 grams per centimeter cube so be careful there are uh, there's no unit written over the here so you have to be very cautious and you have to write down these units Okay, uh, moving to the next question, suggest with the reason a part of procedure A, B, C that could give an unreliable results for the density of water. Okay, uh, for this, uh, I have studied this, uh, the previous questions, it can be A, it can be B, it can be C. Now, the reason for A is like uh, the thickness might be not be calculated perfectly or uh, you can say thickness of glass because uh, the rims are of different uh, diameter as compared to the uh, the bottom of the glass and if you talk about uh, height again 
there is a different uh, i mean uh, if you see the glass let's suppose this is the glass so sometime you see there is a bottom stand over here so basically the glass is the level of the glass starts from this point so this is going to be your height not this one not this one so uh, b can um, again b could be an uh, unreliable uh, results uh, b could be one of the reason that is going to be unreliable unre uh, results is going to give you and then it's going to be the mass of glass is ignored because we haven't uh, if you see over here you can see that the mass of the glass is not subtracted so this is included so that's why the it can be any of the reasons so but your answer should be giving a valid reason for that okay now moving to the next question the student pours the water from the cup into the measuring cylinder draw the diagram draw the diagram to show the water in measuring cylinder Show clearly the meniscus and the line of sight of the student used to obtain an accurate value of the volume. So this is your measuring cylinder. Okay, yeah, I'm drawing with a free hand, so you obviously you are going to draw with the scale. One, two, three, four. Uh, these are the markings. Okay, or divisions, or you can say this is the meniscus. Menis kiss and this is your measuring cylinder this is the level of the liquid and your reading would be like this okay this would be your reading i'll draw your human eye over here okay so this is how you have to do it a student in, in is investigating the cooling of water shows uh, figure 2.1 shows the apparatus used so that we have a thermometer we have a bench we have a beaker i understand the thermometer in the figure 2.2 shows the room temperature theta r at the beginning of the experiment record theta r so from here you have to find out the value what is the value of this okay you can see this this is 25 so you subtract 2 so it's going to be 23 degrees celsius again the units be careful about that the student pours 200 centimeter cube of hot water into the beaker he records the theta h of the hot water uh, at time t equals to zero and immediately starts a stop clock okay he continues records the temperature reading after every 30 seconds the readings are shown in this table explain why the students should wait few seconds after placing the thermometer in hot water before taking the first temperature reading okay so uh, he should uh, like uh, wait for that time because uh, uh, the mercury will take some time to reach uh, at the maximum temperature so i will be writing this so this is the uh, temperature should have reached the temperature of hot water obviously which you are going to measure so uh, we will give some time so that the temperature should get uh, steady at that point complete the columns heading in table 2.1 complete the time column in 2.1 okay we have again uh, seen this in the previous question that the temperature reading was after every 30 seconds so we will put it this over there so this is going to be 30 60 90 120 and 150 so this is seconds and this is going to be degree celsius okay so you have to do it. complete the time column in the table okay we have done this we have done with this as well okay plot a graph theta i mean the temperature would be on y-axis so this is going to be this one at theta degree celsius and again in the time second you do not need to start the y-axis at the origin but the value of the room temperature must be on this okay so this is going to be somewhat like if i try to draw this this is going to be like this okay 20 30 40 50 60 
this is the temperature and for this it's going to be you can put your time over here uh, 30 40 and then it's going to be uh, let me check uh, okay this is 30 this is going to be 60 90 120 120 150 so basically uh, your graph would be looking like uh, this if you plot those values it's going to be like this okay so this is going to be your uh, the maximum temperature and if you want to draw it like a one large square is equals to 10 degrees celsius which means like if uh, you have a 50 degree celsius which means five boxes are needed and this is basically for uh, you can say okay mm -hmm. this is for y-axis okay this is for y-axis and for x-axis your key will be one large one large square is equals to 30 seconds yes it's fine so if you draw this again you will get this type of graph you will get the values like this okay so you have to plot it like this draw a horizontal line across the graph grid to indicate the value of room temperature theta r as shown in the figure by uh, shown in by the thermometer okay so again moving back and you have to draw the uh, room temperature which is around 23 degrees celsius so again for that you are going to be drawing that thing like this okay so room for room temperature the graph would be like uh, this is going to be your 23 degrees Celsius and this is the red line is going to be indicating this thing. Okay. State to precaution that you would take in order to obtain accurate reading in this experiment. So the accurate uh, for getting accurate reading, uh, you have to avoid parallel X error. First of all, avoid parallel X error. Okay. And then you have to wait for the temperature wait for let's say for mercury slide temperature to reach completely at the level of liquid liquid temperature A student plans to repeat the experiment using the same thermometer and same volume of water. Suggest two changes in apparatus or procedure that would increase the rate of cooling of the water. Okay, so if you want to do that, so first of all, uh, is this if you improve uh, the rate of cooling, so you should use a cooler or a colder room and second thing is this that you can start off with a higher temperature a student is determining the focal length of a lens figure 3.1 shows the apparatus used okay the student adjusts the position of the screen until clear uh, a clearly focused image is formed on a screen on figure 3.1 measure the distance again you see this is the measure so you have to use the scale so if you get this on your uh, i mean hard copy or a printout so it's going to be 5.8 centimeter again there are no units uh, figure 3.1 is drawn one fifth of the actual size so calculate v uh, actual distance from this so what you have to do is uh, it's one fifth so obviously you have to multiply with, with five so it's going to be 29 so this is going to be 29 centimeters so actually the distance between these two is going to be 29 centimeter okay calculate the focal length and the u is given u is given v is given v is this part and you need to find out focal length so u is what 20 times 29 upon 20 plus 29 so this is going to be 11.8 centimeter and or you can round it off to two significant figure 12 centimeter so this is how you can do this thing 
The student repeats the procedure in using different distance. Uh, he obtains another value of the focal length after his death. Okay, calculate the average again. This is the average. So first we got uh, 11.8. Uh, this is our first uh, focal length, then is this one, 12.2 divided by 2, you'll get 12.0, so this is going to be 12 centimeter, okay? The student states that taking more measurements improve the reliability of the value obtained for FA. Suggest so additional values of U that you would use okay so we can use the values which are greater than 20 so for that it's going to be uh, we can take uh, either uh, value that is going to be 25 31 30 it's up to you uh, but we have to take bigger values so that we can get a uh, small amount of uh, errors in those uh, readings so this is how we have to do this thing to avoid Errors meaning you will get small errors. Okay, state two precautions that you would take in this experiment to obtain accurate reading. Okay, so first of all, you can uh, mark center of lens and uh, holder and then you can use a place uh, meter rod or meter rule then you can see that they both are uh, uh, have same height I mean the lens and the object and you can use a darker room so any of two can work for this. Okay, moving to the next question. A student is investigating whether the distance that a toy truck will travel along a horizontal flow before stopping depends upon math. The flow following apparatus is uh, available to the students. A ramp. A blocks a blocks or a support of rams toys selection of masses other standard apparatus from the physics laboratory plan an ex experiment to investigate whether the distance that the toy truck will travel along a horizontal uh, floor before depends upon mass or not okay in your plan you should explain briefly how you would carry out investigation how you would carry out this investigation this should be given state state any apparatus that you would uh, use that is not included in the above list state the key variables that you would control draw a table or tables with the columns adding to show how you would display your uh, readings okay draw table columns headings and how would you reading you are not required to enter any reading you may add a diagram to help your description okay so let's do this question so here you have to do this thing uh, let me explain it to you how you're going to do this question okay uh, first of all is uh, like uh, after reading those questions you are going to use the same truck and it's going to be the same angle you have to measure the distance that is basically the starting point and the ending point by using the fiducial markers uh, it can be with a tape or a marker or a, with a nail and uh, for measuring the distance you need the ruler and measuring tape these are the equipments which uh, are not mentioned in this uh, uh, experiment so we need that thing and we have to weigh the toy truck as well so the method is going to be like arranging the setup uh, or arranging or setting up the equipment as shown in the figure 4.1 and then releasing the car or a toy truck and then uh, you have to uh, take the readings and then you have to put some mass on that uh, truck and then you have to repeat those readings again and do not forget to take the average 
and uh, this is how you are going to do this experiment the control variables the control variables are like the height uh, of this uh, ramp and then the angle obviously and then the number of blocks because you don't have to change that and the releasing position okay so the, this is the end of this paper and i hope you got this thank you very much have a good day take care bye bye